Hi, I'm Steve Fulgoni at the shop at the Wood Turning Store, and today we are going to have the second part in a two part video on putting a foot here, a tenon actually, on the bottom of a bowl so that that bowl could then be grabbed in a four jaw wood turning chuck like this one, where you would reverse it and hollow out the inside. So I'll put on my glasses. <clears throat> And the first thing that we'll do here is we'll use a uh, Hurricane CPM 10V bowl gouge, 65 degree front angle with the swept back wing. I'm going to turn it over on its side and use that to flatten out the bottom surface. Not a fancy cut, that's just a scraping cut. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our dovetail jaws, going to take our dovetail jaws and have them open just slightly so that gives us room to clamp down on the tenon. And I'm going to set a pair of calipers to about the width of the dovetail jaws. Now, I'm going to turn the lathe speed down very slowly. I'm going to raise the tool rest up so I'm about at the center line. And very carefully, I'm going to touch this point to the left side of the bowl. Never touch this point, and it will scribe a line. Move the tool rest in a little closer. Okay, so I'm going to exaggerate. And you can see the line there. Well, actually, that was pretty close. But if I exaggerate, I'll scribe a line here, and you'll see another line show up over there. If you keep moving this in until the line that you create is the width of your calipers, which is just about like that, that shows you the diameter of the tenon that you want to create. And actually, it's a good idea to go a little larger than that. I'm going to lower my tool rest down just a little bit. And now I'm going to take this tool here. This is a three-quarter inch square scraper, which would normally purchase it square. And it's ground into a diamond point slightly less than 90 degrees, and this matches the inside, this matches the inside of the dovetail. This angle in here, which when you see what we do, it will correspond exactly to the dovetail that we're trying to create. So I'm going to come over here, again this is just a scraper, if you look at my hand position, my hand is over the top, tool should be horizontal, push in just a little bit, you see the shaving from the off, and I'm making a level, level surface. So now this angle right here, makes a very nice tapered dovetail to match the inside of my jaws. So that's it. That's it right there. A little hard to see. And the only thing that's critical is you want to make sure that this, the depth of this is less than the depths of your jaws. You don't want this tenon to bottom out at this point here. You want this surface to be above this. This is maybe almost half an inch. I can go a little more. Make that. Okay, that's it. So now, 
This is a tenon here, obviously. This surface needs to be retrued up to make a more pleasing shape across here. So again, like I did before, in the first video. I'm going to change my tool rest, change over from a straight tool rest over to a robust curved tool rest, and that is going to give me the ability to come right around this curve here, right around this curve in one shot. I'll show you this with two different tools. First tool is going to be the 65 degree tool, which is again, I'll, I'll use, I'll turn the gouge up just a little bit, so instead of, instead of a hard scrape, it'll be more of a shear scrape. things you notice here. Because I use that tool in scraping mode, the surface finish is not good at all. But most importantly, this surface right here needs to be flat. Cannot have this curve come into here. You need to have a flat surface so that your chuck jaws, so that your chuck jaw face mounts right up against there. Okay? Now I'm going to switch over to, from my 65 degree tool, and this is now a 50 degree tool. Same, same tool, Hurricane CPM 10B 5.8 bowl gouge. Now it's a 50 degree front angle, so that's a little bit sharper. And the, the, the wing here is not as, uh, brought back not as far. But this tool I'm going to use in a push cut fashion. Bring the tool rest in just a little bit. I'm going to use this in a push cut fashion, which is going to be like this. Come around this way, and you'll see the surface the surface finish here improve tremendously. Again, I have to make sure that I don't uh, lose this flat spot here. Okay. So I hope you can see that, but the surface finish here is now much better than before when I use that in a scraping fashion, and certainly much better than if I use the carbide tool. Let's try it again. coloration that you see right here, I don't know if you can see that well on the camera, but that's actually, that's, this is the end grain, and it's actually quite wet here, so you see a change in color. Uh, again, the surface finish is nice and clean. Okay. Now it's a good idea, a good idea just to check. We'll open up this. So you see we need to open the jaws a little bit, that's good, which means we can tighten down on it later. So now we have this tenon. So this is all ready now for me to take this bowl off the faceplate here, reverse it, and hollow out the inside. Okay, that's it for this series, this uh, part of this lesson. I'm Steve Fulgoni at the Wood Turning Store, and thanks again for watching.